all sit down. I heard a story recently about a teacher that was trying to introduce fractions into her students' knowledge of arithmetic. And so she took an apple and she cut that apple right down the middle and it became two pieces. So that one apple became two pieces. So we say that this is one half and this is one half. Well then she went further and she took those pieces and she cut them again. So then she had four pieces of the one apple. So we have one and four pieces. Okay? So after she explained all that to them, she said, well, if your mother baked a cherry pie and for dessert you all were going to have a piece and it was her husband and she has six children, how much of the cherry pie would you get? Anybody know? I get it all. <laughs> well, actually, this is one of those little Johnny stories. And little Johnny raised his hand and he said, one seventh. And the teacher says, oh, that's not right, Johnny. Because remember, there's the mother, the father, and the six children. That makes eight people, right? So it would be one eighth. And little Johnny said, no teacher, you don't understand. You don't know my mother because she would say she didn't want any. <laughs> now, was it because she really didn't want any or was it because she wanted her family to have all that good pie and divide it up among them? That's what it was. And it was, we, we, we see that in mothers because we call it mother's love because she loves her family and she wants what's good for them. But you know, Jesus said, this is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. So as Christians, we should be interested in the good of other people instead of our own selfish things. We should place the good of other people above our own and you know that's an indication of God's touch on you. These little acts of daily self-denial, um, cheerfully done, is what God will smile on. In 1 John 3, 17 and 18, it says, suppose someone had enough to live and he sees a brother or sister that is in need, but he doesn't help. Then God's love is not living in that person. So, my little children, we should love people not only with words and talk, but we should love them in our actions and our true caring. Let's pray. Our precious Heavenly Father, we ask you to look down and bless these children, and we ask, Lord, that you will make them the person that you want them to be. That we all will be that person that you want us to be, Lord. That we may follow the example of your son, Jesus, when he came onto this earth. Bless us and keep us, Lord, until we see you again.